Mex LA is the entire title of the show is uh, Mexican Modernisms in Los Angeles, 1930 to 1985. And um, the title has Mexican in quotation marks and modernisms in plural because Mexican in quotation marks just mean that it's um, the show includes what we think Mexican is, um, references to Mexican art or Mexican culture, or um, some artists that were influenced or inspired by what they, they thought Mexican culture is, and they got inspired by that to produce their artworks. And modernism is in plural because um, all that art put together uh, is, makes up different versions of what modernism is. Pacific Standard Time, the initiative starts actually um, post-war, it's 1945 to um, 1980, and our exhibition starts before and ends after. And it starts in the 1930s because that's when um, the Mexican muralist first came to LA. So we actually start before the time period of the Pacific Standard Time. And it's the time when Siqueiros and Orozco and Rivera um, came to the United States, and especially when Siqueiros was here and he produced his murals in 1932, uh, America Tropical, uh, Street Meeting, and um, the impact that those murals had in the community and in the local artists. The exhibition is actually more or less divided into um, different sections, but the sections overlap with each other. For example, at the entrance we have modernisms, and that's uh, mostly talking about the, the concept of modernisms in plural, what I just um, explained. And then we come to this part which is high and low, and it's explaining how high and low art collide. And for example, we have um, art that was produced by Walt Disney Studio artists for the movie um, The Three Caballeros. And uh, we have some videos, we also have some music. So, you know, within those sections, um, we have international artists. They're not only artists born in Mexico or local artists. We have uh, artists from basically everywhere. And um, the other section of the exhibition actually includes, most of it is um, Chicano artists. So it's actually, one of the most important things about the show is that it includes for the first time um, the presence of Chicano art here in MOLA, in the Museum of Latin American Art. And that is because the exhibition um, is historical and we have to inclu be inclusive of everybody who participated in that time period and in the, um, the concepts of the show. So then we're trying to be as inclusive as possible.